This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydro Mag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine. When growing from seed, there are a number of different grow mediums which we can use. Today, our resident expert, Mr. Bill, is here to help shed some light on how to plant different size seeds in different grow mediums. So, Bill, welcome. Welcome to the studio. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you very much for having me here. So we have a range of growth mediums here in front of us. Can you tell us what they are? Sure. We have soil that will take the formation of any type of growing chamber we have. We have some clay pellets that will also take into the shape of the container that we put them into. We have rock wool that comes in a multitudes of different types of blocks. And we have some vermiculite, which again can take the shape of any container that we use. We usually use it in soil to go and act as a water holder. And we use it in some of the pebble type of growing mediums to go and give the uh, a seed an opportunity to adhere itself to a growing medium because the clay pellets they're just going to uh, run through type of thing once you add water. The last time I went shopping Bill I noticed that the price of seeds were quite expensive and they varied the prices as well. How can I ensure that my seeds germinate? In order to make sure that your seeds germinate there's a simple thing that you can go and do. You can take some tissue paper. Paper towels are going to be a lot stronger and a lot better to do this. And what you do is you fold up a bunch of paper towels, give yourself about a quarter inch of paper towels, put it in the bottom of a tray. Now with the paper towels there, wet them, then you're going to insert your seeds in there. Also what you want to try and do is put your paper so that it's off to the corner as we've done here. You can pick up the corner, you can remove it, and you can see your seeds are spaced apart from each other. If the seeds were to be touching, then fungi and molds can kill more of the seeds. So by them having them separate and you start seeing some fungi or some mold going on in there, you can remove it. Now what you want to do when you're finished putting the water in here is you want to keep them warm. And you must make sure that this, the growing medium, or in this case the paper towel, is always wet. As soon as it dries out, the seed's going to dry out and die. So I think most people will be familiar with soil. So how would you plant a seed in the soil? That one's kind of easy. You simply poke a hole in the soil. You can read the package and it'll tell you how far down into the growing medium that you need to put it. You just take your seed, you drop it in, you cover it up, make sure it's all wet, make sure the seed doesn't float to the top surface. One of the problems we have with soil is that we can overwater it. So how can we control the moisture levels for germination? In most soil containers, there's holes at the bottom of the container. Always make sure those holes are open to air. They're not sitting in water. That way oxygen can move up through the growing medium as it dries out and gives an opportunity for it to dry out. If you block up those holes, then there's no air going to get down in there. It's only going to get from the surface downwards, which is going to take a lot more time. Are there any other ways that we can test that the moisture in the soil is right? We can uh, stick our finger into it, make a feeling of what this moisture on your finger is. We can pick up the soil or the container and get an idea of the weight of the container. And as you water it, you can notice it's heavier. And as it dries out, it gets very light. So you want to stay somewhere in the medium of that. Another tip that we have for people that are growing in soil is what you do is you take a handful of the soil after you've wet it not with the seeds in it, please. You grab it, you squeeze it. You do not want excessive amount of water to come out of it between your fingers. Once you open it up after you've squeezed it, it should stay to its form. If you go and touch it and it crumbles, then it's probably too dry. There's not enough moisture in there. But if it holds its shape without dripping water all over your hands, then you probably have a very close proximity to the amount of water to soil to air that you want in your growing medium. Okay, so we've discussed soil as a growing medium. Is there any difference to planting a seed in soil to, say, clay pebbles? Um, okay, the difference between clay pellets is that it has a very... Um, they're large balls they're of clay. They have very large uh, openings throughout the growing medium. So if you put a small seed in, it'll just, especially when you water it, it's just going to allow it to flow down to the bottom or erode down to the bottom and then the plant is not going to be able to come and germinate up and reach the surface. 
So at that point, what we must go and do is if we want to use the clay pellets, we should take a, a rooting cube and plant into the rooting cube and then drop it in, such as this rockwell cube that we have here, which we have a nice little spot for a seed. Or what we can also go and do is we can use a little bit of vermiculite, pour it on the top of the clay pellets, put the seed in, make sure it's all wet, treat it very gently because the clay pellets are round and they will shift a little bit as you move them around. So keep them very still. And once the seed germinates out, then they'll start holding the clay pellets together and give it some good, strong support. And how can we control the moisture levels in clay pebbles? Well, What's really interesting about all hydroponic growing mediums is when they're properly set up, you can take about a five gallons of water in a very short period of time and pour it over. They will drain so quickly that the plant will never have a problem with the proper amount of moisture in there. The problem is we just gotta make sure that we feed it every couple of hours because of the drying factor. So every house is gonna be different and how you can apply the moisture will be different from one house to another. But check your plants quite often when you're growing in the clay pellets so that you know that the plant is not getting dehydrated. Well, I can't be there every two hours to water my plants, so how can we get around this? I see you're like most people. We can't be married to our garden all the time. It's very easy. All we do is take a reservoir with a volume of water and a pump, take a little bit of tubing, connect it to the pump, and drip it onto the growing medium. So let's now discuss stone wool. Can you explain how you would plant a seed using this growth medium? Sure, what we have in front of us are three different types of stone wool. We have a long slab, we have a short little block, and we have a little cube. And there's the cube. The cube actually has a little indentation in it that we can put a seed into it. But once you put your seed into it, you must take a little pinch off the bottom of it and put it in the top to go and anchor the seed into the growing medium. When it cut, once the roots start coming through this growing medium, at that point you can transfer it over into a bigger block if you so wish. And if you're going to grow a much larger plant, something like cucumbers or tomatoes or green peppers, you want to go and create a next fashion in your growing, larger growing tree and pull the sides up. And now when you water it, the water will flow through into this, down into the bottom piece of the stone wool and it'll spread out by the way that the stone wool is designed and built. Before we wrap this up, is there any more final tips you can give us on growing mediums? Choose a growing medium. Make sure you're working with the proper pH with it. Make sure the rock wool needs to be pH'd out before you use it. Clay pellets need to be washed out. Soil just needs to be wet. So those make it very easy for you to get involved in a soil or indoor gardening situation with the hydroponics. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Bill, and your vast knowledge as ever. Thank you for having me here. Do you want a nutrient that matches all the requirements of any plant you choose to grow? Well, let us introduce to you the Aroma Formula. So variable, it fits all the plants you want to grow indoors. Speed up plant growth. Increase yields. Trusted by the professionals. Results you can easily see for yourself. The Aroma Formula. Now available at all fine hydroponic shops. This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydromag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine.